Hey everyone. So I've been on a bit of a transit kick lately and wanted to talk about another transit that I don't think I've seen anybody talk about, but it can be an important transit for some people. So I figured I would talk about it. Um, I want to talk about the Uranus square that we all experience when we're 21. We also have a second Uranus square around 63, I believe. So some of what I say could probably apply to that square as well, but obviously I haven't experienced that square personally. So what I'm going to share about the Uranus square is probably going to be more specific to the first Uranus square because I've experienced it myself. So a lot of this is stemming from my own personal experience um, and other things that I've researched into. So yeah, I just want to, you know, clarify that. But I'm sure because it's Uranus, it's it probably could still apply and be the same. It just might look a little different when we're 63 because we're going to be older. So the changes that we're going to be making at, with that Uranus square are probably going to pertain more to growing old and things like that. So, so Uranus in our charts and in astrology represents how we establish ourselves, our individuality within a social sphere. So it's how we stand out in groups or society. And squares call for change and readjustment. That's what any square means in your chart or any transit squares. Uranus transits are always showing how we as a species are progressing. They're pointing to the future. So any societal changes that are occurring during Uranus transits are pointing to the direction that we're heading as a, as a species in the future on a broader, more evolutionary scale. So if you take that understanding of Uranus transits in general, you know, on a much broader scale and apply that to your individual experience, it's going to show you those personal changes that are occurring with any Uranus transit are showing the direction that you're progressing in the future, if that makes sense. This transit, the first Uranus square, occurs when we're barely entering our early adulthood years. And this is important because developmentally, we're at a stage in life where we're recognizing the vast future ahead of us and we're seeing all our possibilities all our potentials all of our options in life and you know early adulthood can be a difficult time for some people because we're faced with all these decisions that we have to make right because making these decisions are the first steps that we take to formulating a, a vision for our future you know, we have to make decisions about our career, about our relationships, about our education, our beliefs, our values, um, our family, things like that. Of course, we're always making decisions like this in life. I mean, these are these decisions are always being updated as we develop and age. But this transit itself is really unique in that it really gives us that push to establish ourselves in a way where we haven't before. So how we've always been wanting to set ourselves apart because that's what Uranus represents in our charts, that is being updated alongside with how the social consensus are updating as well. So we can break free from even how we ourselves have always been wanting to break free to try new things and establish our own individuality. I think that obviously this is what a lot of people experience at that age and if you're going to look at it or try to find an explanation for it through astrology, I think that it has to do with this Uranus square. Because a lot of times around this point in our life, we're letting go of traditions, we're letting go of trends, we're letting go of what society thinks we should be to try to be who we really want to be. You want to look at how Uranian you are in your own natal chart and how prone you are to that restlessness that Uranus can create in someone's personality. So people who already have a lot of Uranus stuff going on in their own charts can see more disruption in their life when this transit occurs for them. Or they can just rebel even more. Or if that rebelliousness is already present, this transit can exacerbate that. 
So there are some people who should be careful with the major decisions or the risks that they're taking at this time because you don't want to push yourself too far. Remember, you're not indestructible. <laughs> but I think it's also okay to experiment and explore. Um, if you're being called to try new things with your personality or just how you want to establish yourself, like I would say go for it because <laughs> I think that those little changes or those um, ways in which we're experimenting at that point in our life, it's giving you a glimpse into what you're trying to establish for yourself in the future. So you also want to look at other aspects that Uranus makes to, per to planets in your chart, especially personal planets, because those planets that are already an aspect to your natal Uranus are going to be aspected when this first Uranus square occurs for you. And those planets are going to show you what's being updated specifically within this broader developmental update. So it's definitely an exciting transit and any personal changes that you're making during this time are, are really just leading you to live more authentically. So I hope that this video helped you, um, especially if you're younger, because I know I have some younger viewers and if you are currently experiencing this transit or you are about to it's coming up for you maybe this can help you understand what's happening through an astrological lens <laughs> and if you happen to come across this and you you are older and you've experienced the second year in a square then let me know if any of this applies to your life currently or the trans the second year in transit that you did experience if you've already experienced it. So yeah, just let me know what you think and thank you for watching.